Hey guys, even here. And wow, what a weekend, what a weekend. Dexter Jackson winning Tampa at 49 years of age. It was pretty obvious that he was winning it after pre-judging. I mean, Luke was good, he wasn't bad, but he wasn't crispy enough. Ian was also great, very conditioned, his glutes were straighted more than ever, but he was missing a couple of poses. And Dex won. Luke was bigger, but Dex was way more defined. Luke was a little bit watery, so I don't think it was close, that close. I think Dex absolutely deserved it. And here you are watching Derek Lansford guest posing at less than a month and a half out of Mr. Olympia. And uh, without a doubt, this is your next Mr. Olympia champion. If he comes peeled, like really peeled, like Hari Chopin peeled, maybe even Hari can't beat him. Because he's very complete, he made very big improvements from last year, especially his back. His back is world class now. It's a perfect back. What else can you want? You have width, you have thickness, you have details, every single thing. The only thing that I don't like about his physique is his upper chest and shoulder area, because he doesn't get dry enough in that region and if he gets dry completely i'm sure that part will also be dry enough and uh, i don't think anybody can challenge him who else is there i mean eduardo correa looked good but i don't think he's this good i mean no way he's not this big he doesn't look this impressive um david henry is awesome but he doesn't have quads like this legs overall zane watson is just not on this level so i think yeah it's gonna be an easy win for derek unless Hari shows up if Hari shows up and if he decides to compete in 212, he can win it. He can win it, I mean, easily. He can destroy it. But I'm sure you already have seen this. Person Wolf, bodybuilder, Harry Chopin, denied US visa. So basically, he is not gonna get visa to travel to America. But is this true, though? Well, it was in the newspapers. US won't let Hulk muscle in. Iranian Avegas no go. So if it was in newspapers, it is 100% true, because newspapers are always telling us 100% truth, right? Hell no, of course not. And uh, there is this guy who is a part of Harry Chopin team who posted this story. As you can see, it says fake news, don't jump to conclusions. So what is true here, I don't really know right now, but I'm sure we're gonna be updated soon in these next couple of days. As soon as I find out more information, I'm gonna tell you guys, so subscribe, stay tuned. But I think that if Hari gets that visa, and if he competes in Open as he should, he's gonna be top 4 at least, like that's guaranteed. The only guys that he cannot beat are Brandon Curry, Rolly Winkler and William Bonac if they come in shape, and I'm sure they will come in decent shape, because they are much larger than him. And it's possible actually for him to beat all of them and to win the Mr. Olympia. It is possible, yeah, but I don't think Dexter can beat him. I think Dexter looked amazing, really amazing for a 49-year-old. He does have the chance to crack the top three, but only the other guys don't come in shape. Because Dexter's calves don't exist anymore, they're melted totally, and his stomach is just too big, you know, the waist got too wide. With age, I mean, that's normal, it just comes with territory, with age. And I don't think he's as big as these other guys. I mean, he downsized a little from last year, but he was in great condition and I really loved his physique and uh, he's a huge inspiration and motivation for this whole industry. He's one of the greatest of all time. I would love to see him win the Mr. Olympia, but with this arm, this balance, with these calves, with this waist, I really don't think he can actually win the Mr. Olympia. I mean, anything is possible. I wasn't sure if he can even win the Tampa, but he won it and anything is possible at this point, but saying that he can win the Mr. Olympia is a bit of a stretch. I mean, it's possible, but not very likely, not highly likely. Hari, on the other hand, has a much bigger chance to do that. It's not very likely for him either, because he's very short, compared to the big guys, he's gonna look a little bit smaller, but it is possible, it's, it's fairly possible. Standing next to Nathan the Asha, he looked freaking impressive as hell, but Nathan is not that class of competitors. He is not, you know, top three material for the Mr. Olympia, so he kind of dwarfed Nathan with his mass, but would he do that against guys like Rowley and Brandon? These guys are beasts, they're very big, they're huge. I don't think so, I think Hadi was 220 here, these guys are coming at like 250 or something, that's a huge difference, but still, I mean, anything is possible. Dexter won 2018 Mr. Olympia against Jay Cutler, who was much bigger than him, so anything can happen anything at all and i think that uh, Hari's physique at this vancouver pro was probably the best physique in 2019 so far 
But Brandon Curry made some biggie bromids this year, and Roy Winkler, I'm sure, is going to come sharp, not soft like he was at the Arnold. So it's going to be a battle for Hardy if he gets the visa, which is not likely as well. But if he comes, he has a legitimate chance to win the show. Yeah, it's going to be hard, it's going to be a good battle, but it's possible. I've been speaking about this for a while now, so I'm thinking maybe I should make a separate video about Dexter's and Hari Chopin's chances at Mr. Olympia. What do you think about that, guys? Tell me down below if you think I should make that video. Well, Dexter is winning Tampa and getting praises from all bodybuilders around the world. Brandon is not gonna let him have his moment. Brandon is uploading photos of him where he looks super impressive. And this requires a lot of attention. So look at this, he was at some event, I'm not sure what event this was, but he was posing all day long, greeting the fans and so on, he was wearing this tank top, and as you can see, he's almost show ready, pretty much, I mean, he's very dry, he's very full at the same time, and uh, most likely 2019 Mr. Olympia, yeah. But let's be realistic, I mean, this is not like 2019, 2012, 13, even 14, 15, 16, 17 Mr. Olympia Phil hit. Phil hit was unstoppable. He had everything, he was completely perfect, well, flawless. The only problem of his was midsection, but nobody was caring about that at the time. A little bit later, when it became a huge problem, when it became uncontrollable, when it became completely disgusting, that's when Phil got penalized. But during those first couple of years, it wasn't that noticeable, and uh, Phil was absolutely dominating the stage. I mean, we had Kai, who was also extremely good, but still not complete as Phil. And now we have Brandon Curry, who is amazing, but not super complete. I mean, his legs, you know, guys, are a bit of an issue. Even though he improved them, they will still be exposed by some other guys. For example, William Bonac, even Harry Chopin. Also, Dexter has an amazing set of legs. Rolly, not the best details, but very good legs. Maybe even Sean Roden shows up. So it's not going to be secured for Brandon, but most likely he's going to win it. I mean, who else has bigger chances and why? Tell me why. Some people say it's Rolly, but why Rolly? Where is Rolly's back? Where is Rolly's conditioning? Where is William's structure? Where is Dexter's small waist? Where is Harry's height? In all likeliness, if you take everything into consideration, Brandon is the, the most realistic pick for 2019 Mr. Olympia. But that's only because this guy right here decided to eat mac and cheese at month and a half out of Mr. Olympia. Yeah, feel heat. You can check his story yourself, you can see a bunch of food on that table, not only mac and cheese, a bunch of food, and uh, it's less than a month and a half out of Mr. Olympia, so it's pretty much certain at this point that Phil is not gonna do it, he's definitely skipping it, unfortunately, but maybe even fortunately, maybe it's a good thing for his career and for us, maybe his stomach cannot be fixed this year, but next year maybe he has more time to work on it and to come with controllable midsection and uh, with better conditioning, with even more muscle maybe, and to regain his title. I think that's how things are gonna play out. But anything is possible, maybe Brandon actually improves his legs too much, and it's too improved for Phil to beat him with that stomach, and also maybe Kai Green comes back, which is uh, even silly to, to, to mention, but maybe, maybe, and maybe even Flex Lewis comes you know, much bigger and uh, as conditioned as he was when he was competing in 212 and he wins the title. Or something completely different, something else, because that's gonna happen in one whole year and so many things can happen in one year. We can we have no idea who is gonna compete, what is gonna happen in the meantime. So let's wait, well, let's see what happens and I'm sure it's gonna be exciting. If it wouldn't be exciting, I'm gonna make it exciting. I mean, who else is gonna do it? RX Muscle, Nick Strachan Power, Louis Marcos not even there. Who else is there? Let's be realistic. I'm gonna make it exciting and so subscribe, guys. What about this guy? What about Cedric McMillan? I'm sure you've been wondering, is he competing at the Mr. Olympia? And uh, let me tell you, no, no, it's 100% certain at this point. He had like 16 points and uh, after this Tampa Pro, other guys pushed him out, so he did not make it. He's not gonna be at the Mr. Olympia because he didn't try hard enough, because he didn't compete enough. And if he did, and if he improved a little bit, I mean, he's getting older, muscle maturity is breaking through, if he just came conditioned this year, he could have been 2019 Mr. Olympia, and everybody would love that. I would most certainly love that. Cedric, I mean, his physique, one of my favorites. One of my favorite physiques of, all, of today, and even of all time. Because he's tall, he has those super long muscle bellies, 
And not only that taller guys look more aesthetic, I mean, what is impressive about a midget who is 300 pounds or whatever? Not much, right? Single, on the stage, without anybody next to them, sure, freaking impressive, like Harry Chopin, but if you stand next to them, they're not gonna look very impressive. Especially if you are six foot one or six foot two, like myself. Cedric is my height, so I looked at him as a role model because that seemed like an achievable physique for my structure, but I don't think I have the genetics for it at this point. Maybe a much smaller classic physique version of him, but who knows, like 10 years down the line, maybe I figure out that I actually have the potential to grow that much. Who knows? Who knows? I know one thing though, I know I'm not gonna stop trying to grow, and we'll see what happens. I mentioned Kai potentially coming back to the Mr. Olympia stage this year or maybe next year or whatever and uh, he posted this video a couple of days ago, maybe even today or even yesterday and who the hell knows is this recent or not? I don't know. If you guys know, tell me, but he did not specify that in the comments or in the description. But if this is recent, if this is recent, if he actually looks like this right now, I have no doubt that he would win 2019 Mr. Olympia if he showed up. And he can show up if he just decides to do it. And he's conditioned, he's well conditioned, he's huge. If he just decides to die down, he can win it easily. But enough talk about that. We have no idea that's gonna happen. And let's finish this video with Luke Sando drinking a glass of beer like it's nothing. You know, bodybuilders, they don't drink a lot of alcohol, but look at Luke here. Look at this. Goop, goop, goop. Whoop. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at Aaron Singerman. He barely got two sips. <laughs> while Luke drank a whole glass. Crazy, crazy. I'm sure he had his fair share of alcoholism back in the day when he was younger. <laughs> Anyways, guys, tell me what you think about this whole video. Tell me, what do you think? Is Derek Lansford 2012 Mr. Olympia? Do you think Brandon is winning Mr. Olympia in the Open? Do you think Kai will show up? Obviously, Phil is not gonna do it. What do you think Dexter's chances are at the Mr. Olympia? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video. And guys, I'm uploading videos every single day. I'm not missing upload days ever. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of the future content that I'm uploading very, very frequently. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, all the best. Bye-bye.